Hello and welcome to this lesson on forming the close future tense. So the video, video objective today then is to be able to say um, what we're going to do by revising the close future. That is be able to say I'm going to do something. Okay so if we look up the verb to go in the dictionary we get ir, significa to go. Okay, and we need the six different persons to be able to start the verb, to help the verb along. So, here we go. Voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, van. It's a nice little rhythm with this then. So, voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, van. Here we go. I'm going, or I go. You go, you are going. He or she is going, or it is going as well. We are going. You plural are going, and they are going. So, boy, bas, ba, vamos, bais, ban. Okay, really important to know that um, construction to start with. Okay, so once you've got that, the boy, bas, ba, vamos, bais, ban. Okay, we've got the first part then. I'm going. I mean, next, the next thing we need is this very important to link the two together so boy a plus any infinitive you want to so remember an infinitive is a dictionary definition it doesn't give us any information about the person involved in these um, these activities so um, for example boy a well, we'll look at the first one boy a sacar boy a comprar boy a tomar boy a visitar Lots of examples of AR verbs. Now we've got voy a comer, voy a beber, voy a ver. Here's some ER verbs. And then voy a escribir, an IR verb. Okay, so it doesn't matter what the verb is, whether it's an AR, an ER, or an IR, it just stays in that same form, the, the infinitive form. And then we can finish it off with um, some more information. For example, the first one you just read across. Voy a sacar fotos. I'm going to take photos. Voy a comprar helados. I'm going to buy ice creams. Voy a tomar el sol. I'm going to sunbathe. Voy a visitar monumentos. I'm going to visit monuments. Voy a comer paella. I'm going to eat paella. Voy a beber limonada. I'm going to drink lemonade. Voy a ver una corrida. I'm going to watch a bullfight. Y finalmente voy a escribir postales. I'm going to write postcards. Okay, so very simple um, to be able to work with this, this little tense. I'm going to look at using some different persons as well then. So again, voy vas va, vamos vais van. Okay, we look at the first example then. So voy, voy a, we've got the infinitives here going to use the first one practicar to practice okay so we could ask a question with this we might say vas a practicar are you going to practice so be aware of just being able to make a question very easy two question marks and raise your voice vas a practicar next one then we're going to use bailar to dance so laura va a bailar laura is going to dance so like he or she is, so in this case it's she is going to dance. Next one then, beber, to drink. So this is Mateo y yo, Matthew and I, vamos a beber. So Mateo y yo, vamos a beber. Which is escribir, to write. So you've got Ed y Simon, Ed and Simon, van a escribir. They are going to write. Van a escribir. Okay, finally, just a few examples with question words. So, here are some of these. What are you going to do? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Who are you going to go with? ¿Con quién vas a ir? Where are you going to go out? ¿A dónde vas a salir? And then, ¿por qué vas a comer? Why are you going to eat? So be aware, just using the question words, um, things like que, con quien, a donde, por qué, to be able to create questions. 
Ok. Muchas gracias por escuchar.